The tragedy happening as the man was crossing the street in his wheelchair, heading to the synagogue. The victim's grieving best friend spoke to CBS 2's Leah Mishkin about this shocking loss. Yehuda Lindenblatt and his best friend of 40 years, Jack Michelinzer, saw each other every day. They were neighbors and confided in one another. I'm a Holocaust survivor. I went through a lot of things. And that was uh, one of the biggest shock in my life. The two friends were on their way to synagogue Saturday afternoon. Michelinzer was crossing the intersection on Coleridge Street in an electric powered wheelchair when he was hit by a car. I was about four feet away. If the car would come a little bit more, then I wouldn't be here. 84 year old Lyndon Blatt is an EMT and he radioed for help. He knew, though, the man he considered a brother wasn't going to make it. He stayed by his side until the very end of the hospital. And I told them, I'm not moving. Aviva Tucker rushed to the hospital when she heard what happened to her father. It was too late. The 99 year old had passed. And he was a very, very kind, sweet, wonderful, wonderful man. Tucker showed us around her father's home. He liked to paint, and his artwork is on display on the walls, along with family photos. The Holocaust survivor had two daughters, four grandchildren, and five great grandchildren. His wife passed away about a decade ago. He had a bakery on Brighton Beach Avenue. My mother, you know, she did the front of the bakery. My father did the back of the bakery. Both of Tucker's parents were from Czechoslovakia. Linda Blatt says his friend was in Budapest in the beginning of the war. He said he had to do the dirty work for the Hungarian army, so he escaped, hid for a part of the war, and used his ability to speak seven languages to translate for the Russian army. Later on, uh, the war, war was over. He went, to, went back to Czechoslovakia, met his wife, and from there he went to Israel and fought in the, in the Israeli war. Then he went to Australia. My mother missed her family, so they moved to New York. Family and friends are sitting Shiva this week, the mourning period in Judaism. They're remembering a man who was loved by all. In Brighton Beach, Brooklyn, Leah Mishkin, CBS 2 News. The driver did stay on scene and has not been charged with any crimes as of now.